The Persona game series developed by Atlas and published by Sega has been something that I always have, well, never been a part of. I actually did not know that this series existed until, I'm gonna be honest, like a year ago. That is how out of the loop and dumb I am. Come to find out, it is not only one of the most critically acclaimed series in the world, but it has actually been around since 1996, it looks like. Since then, they have released five mainline games, and the thing that got my attention about the series a year ago is actually when it got brought to the Xbox Game Pass. See, since about the uh, early to mid-2000s, I have really only had an Xbox to play video games on. The PlayStation 2 was really the only Sony console I had. And so what I'm saying is Persona has always been a series that has really only released on PlayStation. I'm not exactly sure on their relationship with Nintendo, but I know that it really hasn't been until recently that they've started bringing their games to Xbox. And unfortunately, even when Persona 5 came to Xbox about a year ago, I tried to get into it, and what I see is honestly an extremely charming and relaxing, yet very complex and detailed video game. Something that I very much respect, and yet I just couldn't get into it. I think I got up to like uh, the main part of the game, like where the game starts, where you find out you're gonna get expelled, I think, after a certain amount of time, if memory serves correct, and that's kind of basically where I stopped playing. It was just kind of uh, overwhelming for me, I guess. And ever since then, Persona has just been that kind of game, where it's like the party that everybody's having fun at, and I'm just the kid in the corner, sipping on some fruit punch, wanting to be a part of it, and just not really getting it. I haven't really had my, my in yet, so if anyone knows where I should start, please let me know. I just saw a video that says Persona 4 is the best starting point, so maybe I'll try that out. But the point with this long rambling is that, yeah, Persona really has never been on the Xbox platform really until recently, when they had Persona 3, 4, and 5 brought to the Xbox, and now all three of those, I believe, are on the Xbox Game Pass still. So Persona 5, which is the most recent mainline installment, was released all the way back in 2016, and this is actually the most popular, the most critically acclaimed one in the series. Much uh, like GTA 5, uh, Persona 5 seems to be the cream of the crop, and so naturally, eight years later, people are wondering where Persona 6 is, and since I am sort of the new kid on the block trying to be a part of the whole Persona thing, I'm sure I'm just unaware of the fact that there has been uh, talks of Persona 6 probably for years now, but where I'm getting at is people are obviously wondering, hey, when is Persona 6 coming to the PlayStation 5 or the PlayStation PlayStation 6, if it takes that long for it to come out from now. Well, there is a very recent rumor that has uh, very recently actually been electrified and cast into the spotlight of Persona fans worldwide. So this uh, all has to do with a guy called Nate the Hate. He is a guy responsible for a lot of game leaks, I guess. That's pretty much all I know about him. I remember I had one comment on one of my videos like two or three months ago saying they disliked him, saying that he makes stuff up. And of course, this was just one comment that I saw. But given that my knowledge of him is very limited. I guess we gotta approach all of this, you know, with a grain of salt. At the end of the day, this is a rumor, what I'm about to tell you. But it looks like Nate the Hate was having an interview recently, or it was like some sort of podcast, and he actually suggested uh, some very big news, some very interesting news, something that should be very good for people who want the Persona series to be available to, you know, anyone possible. And that is that Persona 6, surprisingly, will not be, you know, a, a Sony exclusive when it first comes out. He says that it is indeed slated for the Xbox series or you know, Xbox console of some sort, whatever it is when this comes out, which I'm seeing uh, another rumor that says that Persona 6 is supposed to come out in 2025, so just a year from now. All in all, when you put these two rumors together, it sounds like, allegedly, Persona 6 is to be released next year on not only the PlayStation, but also the Xbox. I'm not seeing that he said anything about its release on the Nintendo Switch or the Nintendo console, but I am also seeing another rumor that Persona 3 Reload is supposed to come to the next Nintendo console. It looks like Persona 3 Portable is the only one that is available on the Switch right now. Yeah, that's another thing I am uh, learning about the Persona series is that they have a lot of different versions of them, of like the same game, sort of like the Kingdom Hearts series. So I really hope this rumor is true because I really do want to get into this series. I mean, my knowledge of Japanese JRPGs is very limited and very underexposed. Really, the only series I've played that's like that is Pokemon, which I absolutely loved. I mean, that series just made up my childhood. And from what I understand, Persona is very similar in that it is also a turn-based RPG. But like I said, it's just a lot more complex. There's just a lot more to do in these games in terms of world immersion. So hopefully this rumor is true. With me only having an Xbox console right now and wanting to get into the Persona series, I know I'm probably not the only person in this same boat when I say that maybe Persona 6 will be my in to the series.